welcome to vlogtober day 18 well as you can see i'm sat in my sewing room i have just sort of escaped from the house for a little bit um only just to film this really because i've got to pop out uh, for a little while and then i will be back home and it'll be time for lunch and crafting time which i'm pleased to say um because it's a very miserable day out there again grey skies not good perfect day for crafting though or even going for a walk <laughs> but no it's going to be a crafty day for me today <sighs> well we've had the kittens out for a little while and we've started when charlie and elsa are out and letting them have the run of downstairs which they are absolutely loving trouble is they want to come out every time you make a move towards the door and they can't always because obviously Charlie and Elsa are pottering around the house and this morning when I was trying to come out to wash the breakfast dishes up I'd got a sail on between my legs so I sat on my foot just looking at me to say well I want to come with you <laughs> but at the minute they're fast asleep on the settee they're all cuddled up together and I'll either put a picture in here now or it'll be at the front of this clip because by the time I come to Eddie I forget. <laughs> but they look so sweet together. They're, they're on the cushion. Uh, I think Salem's laid across. No, Bramble's laid across Salem and they've got the blanket on them so they're all snuggled. But I think having this run around of the house it's tiring them out a little bit more which is, <laughs> which is not bad. But this morning, I mean Adele, I should say not this morning, Adele's been introducing Charlie and Elsa to the kittens slowly, just a little bit every now and again. Um, yesterday they've got the run of the house, but um, Charlie was asleep upstairs in his box. He's got a cardboard box to get upstairs, <laughs> so he was quite happy. And Bramble ran upstairs and she sort of stopped and had a look at him and poofed a little bit and then she come back down and Charlie just looked and ignored her and went back to sleep um, but this morning we were all in the kitchen and Del says oh let them come through so Salem comes hurtling through like he does and so did Bram while well, she come through and Charlie just sort of looked at them while he was eating his breakfast didn't bother them he didn't hiss or anything which was good um, they just sat and watched him for a bit and then they potted off and Charlie wanted to go back outside then. I think when he realised there were two kittens, that was it. He had enough. He was off. <laughs> so, yeah, I think Charlie's going to be the one that's going to be okay with them. Elsa, I think Elsa will accept. She'll, she'll accept that they're there but that'll be it you know they'll they'll know their place with her they definitely will <laughs> so she'll probably ignore them but uh, yeah she'll tolerate them but she's she's going to be the hardest one i think uh, really she i think she's i think she's scared of them to be honest because we were talking about it earlier on do would the adult cats know that they are kittens or is it just something that runs around? Makes you wonder. What makes you wonder what's going through their little minds when they see two other animals in the house, what they're thinking. But we'll get there. We're getting there with them, you know. I mean, um, Salem and Bramble just want to mix in with the other two cats. They just can't wait to get in with them. But obviously, you know, you just don't know what's going to happen, do you? So we've got to keep a very close eye on them. But yes, like I said, they're fast asleep at the minute. So I'm going to go off out for a little while and then I'll be back. And then hopefully it's crafting time and I might get some knitting done tonight. So, so I, hope, oh, I hope everybody's having a lovely day so far. I'm back home now um, I did my little job that I needed to do and I thought I would continue on and make my phone case now if you remember my phone case is sat in a silicone sack 
with a pop socket on the back. Um, and I don't have a cover for the screen this time because even though they are good to have, mine just kept peeling off last time. I don't know how many I went through <laughs> in two years, but I went through enough. So I decided this year not to bother with the screen protector. So I thought I need a case. So I have got my fabric that I cut out the other day. So the cat graffiti one is the lining and for the outside of the pouch it's going to be that the cute cats so i see i've got a black cat there as well <laughs> so i'm just going to get on with that and i will show it you yeah, when... whoops well that was a quick make <laughs> i think it only took about four minutes to do all together um obviously i can't show you my phone in the case because i'm filming on it but I put my silicone case in it. So that's my case. It's very quick make and the foam will just be poking out so I can grab hold of it and pull it out of the case. So yeah, very quick make, I'm really pleased with it. So at least my phone front is protected now, or it will be. <laughs> now I'm going to get on with some more crafting while I've got a chance. Well, if you can hear that noise in the background, which I'm sure you will be able to, that is the embroidery machine working. Um, it's doing a pumpkin, that nice stitched out pumpkin, I can't remember what they call that now. Um, and what I've decided to do, I'm going to make a bag for the giveaway. So I'm getting myself in front now, which is good, while I've got a chance. And what I'm going to do is make one of the I think one of the flat pouches like I use for English paper pieces, cross stitch, I mean you can put in whatever you want in it and I think this one's going to be maybe slightly bigger than what I've been making of the you know the Liberty bags uh, and it's going to be in the same fabric that I made my uh, tea cosy in earlier on in the week. So yeah, so once I finish that, which then I will make the announcement for the giveaway. So I'll either do that tonight in this vlog or I'll keep it for tomorrow. It just depends how much time I get. I'm just trying to keep an eye on the machine. <laughs> I don't want any problems with it. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing. So oh, and I'm going to line it with the honey pumpkin fabric. <laughs> Well, I've just finished making the first bag. This one's going to be mine now, <laughs> I've decided. So it's one of my flat ones, and this is slightly bigger than what I normally do. But this will house my um, either paper piecing or cross stitch or a felt kit or something. Um, might not be this year. I don't think I've got time to start something else, but I've Actually, well, I'm not going to say I made a mistake. I'm, <laughs> I just didn't look actually. I've um, done the pumpkin in, it's like a brown, but I think that looks okay. I mean, I like it, but as I'm, yeah, the orange was sat next to it and I thought I'd got the orange shredded up in the machine and I hadn't. So I thought, well, I want a bag like this because otherwise I never get any. And what I've done is I have put in. The pumpkin fabric there and I've got an orangey gold zip on and I have put the binding on the same fabric so I like that. Now the next bag I'm doing is going to be a little bit smaller than this one. It's going to have the orange pumpkin in. <laughs> I made sure that um, I put orange in but this time I'm just going to do um, a lining that's green it's got gr it's green it's like an olive green I'll show you when I've done um, and it's got leaves on tiny leaves on because sorry that was the heat press going off <laughs> if I remember I'll chop that bit out um, yeah um, yeah so I'm going to put a, a you know an autumnal liner in because I know not everybody's into Halloween and you know the pumpkin faces people not, might not like that so it's that orange pumpkin on the front and a leafy design on the inside so I will share that with you when I finish making it 
I'm not finished with the bag now and this one's turned out okay, nice. Pop a colour pumpkin, bind him and the inside's lined with the same fabric as the binding so you can see little tiny leaves. So yeah, this one's just slightly smaller than mine, not quite as long, it's about that much shorter. So yeah. So keep an eye out for um, the giveaway announcement in one of my vlogs. And I'm going to end today's vlog here because time's getting on. It's about quarter to seven at the minute and I probably won't get a chance to pop back on. Um, if I do anything like any baking or anything tonight, I will share that, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we're having for tea yet. Um, so I'd just like to say thank you for joining me today. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.